welcome to my first tutorial video where we are going to discuss on SI prefixes and unit conversion ok let's start with SI prefixes ok so it is used to present larger or smaller values ok so we have few prefix that all of you need to remember ok so we have tera, giga, mega Kilo, deci, centi, milli, that is micro, nano, and the last one, pico. Okay, so tera is 10 to the power of 12, can be expressed as big T, and giga is 10 to the power of 9, can be expressed as big G, mega is 10 to the power of 6, can be expressed as big M, kilo, 10 to the power of 3, small k, deci, 10 to the power of negative 1, small d, centi, 10 to the power of negative 2, small c, milli, 10 to the power of negative 3, small m, okay, and micro, that is 10 to the power of negative 6, we can express the symbol as mu, nano, 10 negative 9, that is n, and last one, pico, 10 negative 12, small p. Okay, so let's move to unit conversion. Unit conversion is really important in physics as we're going to use it a lot throughout this subject. Okay, so let's try the first uh, unit conversion, okay, where we want to convert 600 nanometer 2 meter okay so first you need to identify what is the prefix involved here so we know that the prefix involved is nano that is 10 to the power of negative 9 okay so you can substitute the prefix into the sorry you can substitute 10 negative 9 into the prefix so we get 650 times 10 negative 9 meter Okay, let's continue with B, where we have 45 centimeter cube. We want to convert it into meter cube. So, centi is the prefix involved in this question. Okay, so we can substitute centi with 10, negative 2. Okay, don't forget to cube the prefix. Okay. So we have 45 times 10, negative 2 cube. And the unit is meter cube. So the final answer will be 45 times 10, negative 6 meter cube. Remember, when we do unit conversion for area or volume that involve cube and square, okay, Make sure the prefix and the unit, okay, been square or been cube, okay, based on the question. Okay, let's look at question C, where we have 66 kilometer per hour. Okay, so if you look at the question, it asks you to convert it from kilometer to meter and hour to second. Okay, so first write 66 km per hour in a fraction form. Okay, this question involves two conversion of unit. Okay, so we need to have two brackets. Okay, if you want to convert kilometer to meter, so we need to write kilometer at the bottom part. So later we can cancel it. Okay, so 1 km equivalent to 10 to the power of 3 meter and for the second unit that is hour to second so one hour to uh, second is 3600 seconds so next step we cancel all the similar unit okay kilometer with kilometer hour and hour okay so what left is meter and second okay so 66 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 3600 second 
So the final answer will be 18.33 meter per second. Okay, next question is 500 gram per centimeter cube. Okay, we want to change it into kilogram per meter cube. Okay, so how can we do this one? This one also involves two unit conversion from gram to kilogram and centimeter cube to meter cube. Okay, so the same, the same method as previous question, write 500 gram per centimeter cube in fraction form. And since it involves two unit conversion, okay, so we have two brackets. Okay, we write G at the bottom part so we can cancel it later. And we write centimeter. Okay, we cube all the bracket. Okay, centimeter at the top so we can cancel it later. Okay, so 1 gram equivalent to 1 exponent negative 3 kilogram and 1 centimeter equivalent to 1 exponent negative 2 meter. Okay, so before we calculate, let's cancel the similar unit. Gram with gram, centimeter cube with centimeter cube. So the final one will be 500 times with 10 to the power of negative 3 kilogram divide with 1 exponent negative 2, uh, sorry, negative 6. Okay, once we cube the negative 2, so we left with negative 6 meter cube. Okay, so the final answer will be 500,000 kilogram per meter cube. Okay, we can simplify it into 5 exponent 5 kilogram per meter cube. Okay, so question E. How to change 500 Kelvin to degree Celsius? Okay, please remember 0 degree Celsius equivalent to 273 Kelvin. Sometimes in reference book, they will set that 273.5 Kelvin. Okay, but here I use 273 Kelvin. So therefore, to convert Kelvin to degree Celsius, we need to minus 500 Kelvin with 273 Kelvin. So the remaining one will be in degree Celsius, that is 227 degree Celsius. And for the last question, 75 degree Celsius, we need to convert it back into Kelvin. So we need 2 plus with 273 Kelvin. So the final answer will be 348 Kelvin. That's all for the first tutorial. See you in my next tutorial video.